Streaming pre-recorded looped video is easier than you think. Here is four super quick methods to do it. We'll cover all major streaming platforms, including multi-streaming. Now let me just start with a quick copyright warning. You should only stream content that you have permission to use or that you own yourself. If you don't, both the platform and the content owner could copyright strike you, ban you or suspend you from the platform. And also some platforms don't like if you are AFK and by that I mean you're not even present in the stream. So it's always better if you're there to answer any chat questions. Let's start with a method for streaming looped video on TikTok. And firstly, if you want to download past VODs from your TikTok stream, go into the live center underneath live replays, click view more and just click the download button against whatever VOD you want to download. So let's set up a looped stream using TikTok Live Studio, which is linked in the description. Firstly, choose at the top between landscape or portrait. I'll choose landscape. And then I'm going to make myself a blank scene by pressing add scene at the bottom. Next, I need to add a video source. So I'm clicking add source, clicking on video and pressing add. And I'm going to press select file to find my video file. So I'm going to play this random Fortnite trailer. So I'm going to select it. And the most important step is make sure you tick the loop option. If you want sound, choose the sound level. I find 50% is fine. If you don't want sound, just press the mute button. Optionally, play the video from the beginning, click on add source, and usually it's not been resized properly. So we're going to click on it if you don't have the red outline and click stretch to screen. Now we have our full screen looped video. If you are going AFK, I recommend click add source, add some alerts on top of it so that when people follow, gift, etc., the name will show on the screen. Even better, use the link source to add Tickfinity alerts. I'll put my Tickfinity alerts guide in the description. And just quickly, if you want to learn how to monetize and grow your live streams and content, then check out my free weekly newsletter, which I've linked in the description. Now, here's an OBS method that works on every platform, including TikTok, if you have a stream key. Make yourself a new scene in the bottom left if you need to. Then underneath sources, click the plus and click on media source. Give it whatever name you want. I'll call mine looped video. Click OK and then click browse to find the correct file. So again, I'll choose a random Fortnite trailer here. And once again, the key button is the loop button. I'm also going to close the file when inactive. The other settings should be fine. So I'll press OK. And if it's not full screened, it should full screen automatically. But if it's not, right click, transform and fit to screen. Now you won't be able to hear it, but you can see in the audio mixer that it's playing. If you want to mute the audio, just click on the sound icon and it's now muted. So this method works for any platform, but what about if you want to stream looped video on multiple platforms at the same time? So let's look at multi-streaming. Here is a method that lets you stream looped video to up to seven platforms at once. It only uses one piece of software and one upload stream, so it's no extra strain on your computer to stream to all these platforms. So this is Streamlabs Ultra. You can get $9 off by using my affiliate link, which is in the description. And you just head to the settings and into the stream settings here to link all your different accounts. Once your accounts are linked, you need to look for sources. Mine is on the right here. Yours might be in a different position. Press the plus button against sources. We're going to add a media file here and click add source. Then we're going to name it. I'm going to call mine loop video and press add source. I'm going to tick loop and then click browse. And then once again, I'm going to find where my video file is. And once again, I'm going to close file when not active. The other settings should be fine. Once again, make sure loop is ticked and press close. It's very similar to OBS. You can see it's now in the audio mixer. If you want to mute it again, just press the sound icon. When you're ready, just hit go live in the bottom right corner and it will ask you which platforms you want to go live on. Once again, $9 off in the description with my affiliate link. And here is another multi-stream method. This is Restream linked in the description and this is web-based. So you don't even need any software. So you just head to Restream. Like I say, it's in the description and I'm going to start with Studio. I am hiding my camera. I'm muting my mic. I'm entering Studio without camera. And in the top left, I'm unticking myself from the stream. And to add loop video, I'm going to press the plus button at the bottom, which says add source. I'm going to click on local video and find my video file. I'll choose this one to add it. You'll see on the left, it's now been added. First, I'm going to check the loop option. Then I'm going to check this box, which puts it on the stream. And you can control the audio here. And of course, once again, you can just press the sound icon if you want to mute it. 
so you can get $10 off Restream using my link, which is in the description. So it really is that simple to multi-stream. Thank you to the channel members for their support. Thank you for subscribing and thanks for watching.